who can take care of your body other than you. You are the, the host, the host of the temple. And I'm saying, this is what I used to say to myself at Essence, because I was always my last choice. And it was my life falling apart again and again and again. And those of you who have read my work know that I've been, you know, somewhat honest about it. Stuff during menopause, Kathy will tell you, I was living with a crazy woman. I get up and I don't want to be married anymore. Married to the best man I know. I would go to work and I felt that everything that was coming out of my mouth was wrong. That I was working for you. You were working for me. I was working with you for 5, 10, 15 years. But what the heck is your name? I just couldn't recall it. And this is what I started doing. Shrinking back from life. Stop having meetings. I can talk about it now. Showing up, looking fly. You know, nails buff, hair done. Great shoes, custom made little stuff, you know, size 11 shoes. Sometimes you have to get them custom made if you want cute shoes, right? <laughs> Showing up with all my little stuff, but dying on the inside, crying on the inside, and going home and just melting into tears. And Kevin would say, well, what did I do? But I want to tell you something. Not the month or the week or even the day, but the moment that I paused to just ask myself the critical question that we must ask ourselves every single day. How are you? How you doing? People ask you that all the time, hey, how you doing? They don't want to know. I'm trying to tell somebody the truth about your depression. They don't want, girl, you better go get yourself some therapy, you know. They don't want to know. They have their own drama. But this is a question that you have to ask yourself. You have to check in with you. How are you doing? Where are you hurting? Pain is one thing, information. That's all it is, information. Tears rolling down your cheeks because it's, you know, Wednesday and you don't know where your baby is, your partner, and you thought that you had, person's not loving you, wake up. Learn to love goodness, not fine, not money, not what somebody can give you. Brothers, not some big old round behind. Learn to love goodness, the goodness that's on the inside, the outside, that's the accoutrement. I'm talking about what is on the inside and grows better and better and better. And you see, when we look at our lives and we examine our lives, you have to know where you're hurting, because if you don't, you'll medicate. You'll medicate. I remember waking up, oh gosh, I feel like something is wrong in here. Go to the doctor and he says, you have the precursor to acid reflux. The doctor said, oh, but here's a prescription for Prilosec. You know, and maybe you can take my land. I'm like, for the rest of my life? How about looking at my life and not eating dinner at midnight? You know, and chewing my food rather than throwing it in my mouth in between meetings and choo 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 swallow, choo 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 swallow, and always rushing. So our lives are always speaking to us. Pain is information, it's a natural and important part of life. Everyone you saw in that video. From Oprah to Mariah to Sean Combs to Danny Glover, Spike Lee, they're all very wealthy people. Well known and wealthy. It doesn't mean that they're happy. Money does not bring you happiness, and neither does fame. What brings you joy? It's really simple. It's living for something larger than yourself. Not a bigger house, another pair of shoes, you know, money so I can shop and travel. We all want those things. You can have whatever you want. The Holy Spirit's going to give you more than you ask for if you live for something larger than yourself. We are here on assignment, and that assignment is to leave our place a little bit better than we found it. We have work to do here in St. Thomas. We have work to do in St. Croix and on St. John. We have work to do. And you know what I say every day? We have work to do in Harlem. I say this to myself every day.